What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Ambret Town, home of a bunch of fossils and all that crud, and, well, let's get this whole thing started right here. So first is first, we gotta heal our, we gotta heal my Pokemon right here because, uh, you know, it's not cool not having Pokemon healed all the time and all that crud. And, yeah, we're probably gonna have to switch out Mr. Teeny because, uh, I don't think I don't see us cutting anything anytime soon right here, so let's go ahead and deposit Senior Teeny right here. It's already done its a uh, its situation, and then uh, oh yeah, in the last episode we captured a uh, Axu, being bringing our team to five team members. We named it Bone Saw after uh, Randy Macho Man's uh, character from Spider Man, and this guy right here is telling us Pokemon fossils. What do you th what do you think they dream about? Well, they're fossils. They're dead. I mean, they're artifacts. I don't know. And uh, Pokemon fossils are quite rare themselves, but not nearly as rare as the stones you will find along Route 10 here in Kalos. Route 10? Hmm. Hold on. Hold just a minute. Let's go to the town map and see where this Route 10 is. Let's see. Well, here we are in Abred Town. Next point of destination is a glittering cave right here. And Route 10. Nope, there's nothing right here. Hold on. Uh, oh, oh, I know where it's at. Okay. I, I know what he's talking about. That won't be until later on. So let's go ahead and take a tour of this whole place right here. This is Ambred Town, and there is something right here that we could get. Look at that. We're now in Route 8. And bam, we found ourselves a hard scale. A nice uh, addition to the to the packet. That way we could actually teach a Pokemon later on some moves and stuff. And then there is nothing that we can do here. So let's move on. Okay, so Amber Town. Talk to this person, and she here she is saying, "Here, trainer, use this TM, and it's Rock Smash." And look at that. TM HM doesn't really matter. Rock Smash may also lower other Pokemon's ability to defend itself. That makes it that makes up for what it lacks in power. That is true. Very, very true. Okay, so let's see. Enough with the roller skating. It, it kind of gets hard to just use. Let's go ahead and talk to some people. I'm very particular about speed of, of the, about the speed of Pokemon. What's uh, that's why I'm wondering if you have any Pokemon with the speed of 182 or greater with you. Okay, so yeah, we don't have a Pokemon with that speed just yet. Eventually, she'll give us something now. Talking to this girl, she's like, Hi, guess what? I heard that some Pokemon can evolve during battle. Did you know that? I think so, yeah. I think my Pokemon evolved during that. There are lots of stones that can bring out the new power of Pokemon. The, the Kellos regions just happen to have a lot, of, a lot of stones. That makes me think that anything could happen there, or here. Really? Okay, alrighty. Let's move on. And again, no roller skating. Here is the lab that we're supposed to visit. But first is first. Let's just talk to people here. I wonder how strong the Smeargle I left at daycare has become. Do you know about Smeargle's new move uh, or move sketch? It takes the move the other Pokemon used and makes it its own. That is true. Very, very true. I think I explained that to you, many of you guys. Now let's take a seat right here and oh, look at that. There's an item. I'm going to get that pretty soon. Alright, enough screwing around right here. Let's go into this hotel room and see what we can find. Let's see. Believe it, talk to this guy. Hey, I got something rare from a customer. I had a chat with the customer several times and we hit it off. Okay, what was it that you got? I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Is there anybody here that will give me something for free? Traveling trainer, why don't you use this? And look at that. We get ourselves a TM96 Nature Power. So I'm thinking that's what she got. And... Well, let us move on right here. Because there is somebody in here waiting for us. Let's see. Ah, look at this. Talk to this person. I heard a lot about you. Really? You heard a lot about me. Through what? I don't even know. And... We're moving towards this area, and look at that, Senior O Powers, Senior Bonding, and I'm just gonna just press the button because I don't necessarily care about O Powers, even though 
Even though they're they are very good for when you know a battle happens and all that stuff. Still haven't used them. Only used them one time, I should say. All right, so let's move on right here, guys. Let's see. What can we find in the good old place of Ambret Town? I don't know. So let's see. Here's the fossil area, the fossil lab. We restore Pokemon fossils. Let's get in here. And well, can't find anybody here right now. Let's see. You must have come to the fossil lab because you like fossils. Not really, because I have questions. And look at that. Well, hello, hello. Wait for me! And here is... I guess the uh, uh, professor. I don't know what his name is. Welcome, future archaeologist. You were drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. My name's Serena, and this is Draven. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you knew anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore's students. I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say? I'm sorry, but all I know is that all I know is that it has something to do with mysterious stones. Still, since you're students of Professor, uh, you know you must know about Pokemon fossils, correct? No. How unexpected! I would have thought Professor Sycamore's students would have uh, would know the basics. Listen well. Fossils are the legacy of Pokemon from a distant past. I think you should definitely go to the dig site and see the real thing. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then... Hold on, Pokemon that can uh, be restored from fossils might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant in the Glittering Cave might know something about that. Oh, the Glittering Cave. What should I do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should just talk to that assistant. Are you going to the Glittering Cave, Sensei? Well, I, I kind of have to. Yeah. I think I must, you know, make an impression, keep, you know, an image and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a Pokemon here. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab Pacham. Uh, because we do have the Rock Smash technique now, and uh, there's going to be a lot of the, a lot of that going on in the, in the Glittering Cave. And... What else should I do right here? Oh yeah, buy, new, buy more Repels. Always buy more Repels, guys, because there's going to be a lot of Pokemon. Lots and lots of Pokemon. Let's go ahead and buy a bunch of repels. Actually, let's go with 13 right here. Making it an even 30. We are good to go. Look at that. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so Glittering Cave. We're going to be going straight to this area right here. And let's see. Talk to this guy. Oh, are you going, uh, are you going to search for fossils in the Glittering Cave? You have to ride on the right horn to get there in that case. Riding right horn is so much fun. You could even pretend that you're the, you're the world, uh, the, the famous right horn racer or race. Isn't that my mama? Isn't it my mom? I don't even know. Okay, let's see. What does she have to say? Pokemon moves that come in direct physical contact with a target that are direct attacks. If you want to do something about them, you, tr you can try this. And look at that. We got ourselves the Rocky Helmet. If a Pokemon holding a Rocky Helmet takes a direct attack, the attacker takes damage too. Combine that with the ability like uh, Iron Barbs or Rough Skin, and it really starts to sting. Which is very true. Very, very true. And so, here we are in Route 9. And like they said, we're going to be riding on a Rhyhorn right here. So, first is first. Let's go ahead and use, uh, use that Rocky Helmet. Let's give that to Bonesaw right here, because I know for a fact that we're going to be attacked a lot by this Pokemon. Or this Pokemon's going to get attacked a lot. And get this amulet coin to Godzilla number 3. Completely forgot about that, and I probably should have just, like, you know... I probably should have just, like, deleted all that, or... No, I probably should have just, like, you know, gotten rid of all the... The extra stuff for the extra money right there. So, let's move on right here. Here's the right horn, and all you gotta do is pr press the circle pad. But make sure to actually have, uh, what was it? Yeah, make sure to have repels as well, guys, because you will be getting attacked on these er on these uh, rocky areas right here. Okay, so what the hell? Oh, I pressed the B button. My bad. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Look at that, riding on this right horn, pretending I'm my mom. 
better not fall off this cliff because I might fall and press the A button hold on just a sec okay press the A button right here and bam you're gonna you're gonna destroy these rocks right here which is cool and let's go right here and grab this item too here we go destroy the rock press that B button right there and there we go we're gonna be grabbing this item right now hold on let's grab this look at that got ourselves the X defend nice okay so let's get the heck out and grab onto this guy going backwards all right right horn do your thing all right so there's something right there in the backside that we need to get to before that so we need to just move aside press this button and bam okay so let's see what kind of item is this we found ourselves a paralysis heal nice uh nice item as always and no well, let's go in the back side right here and we found ourselves a firestone another well another item that we we could use later on if we have a pokemon that evolves through uh what was it through a firestone okay let's see going backwards look at that doing the moonwalk the Rhinehorn moonwalk right here and press this button that's right look at that and we're just gonna just we're just gonna keep on destroying all these rocks right here. Look at that, bam! It's usually the fun part about this this whole thing that you can actually destroy rocks. And here we go again. And I don't know what. Okay, so you could destroy the rock right here, and this will actually lead you to a trainer that you can actually have a sky battle with. Uh, the only problem the only problem right now is that we don't have a Pokemon that they well an actual flying type Pokemon. Believe it or not, guys, uh, some flying type Pokemon are not exactly flying type Pokemon. Like, uh, for instance, Dugtrio, or no, 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 Dugtrio, uh, Doduo. Yeah, those two Pokemon. Uh, uh, not exactly a Pokemon that you know is allowed in this whole uh, which we'll call it uh, this whole uh, sky battle thing. So we'll eventually talk to those guys, and let's go ahead and use another repel here, and. Let's move on. Uh, let's go ahead and get on this red horn. Eventually, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you can actually get through these kinds of roads with the Mudsdale. And look at this. Off the rocks. And let's see. Let's talk to this to this lady right here. Hello, trainer. You must have some impressive Pokemon to make it this far. Yep, I do. I do. I really do. And. Okay, you, yeah, real easy to get lost. Okay, so I was thinking of, you know, pausing it right here and going into the next episode. But, you know what? Let's finish it. Let's do it. Here we are in the Glittering Cave. It's going to be all glittery because it's the Glittering Cave. And, well, you'll be able to find some interesting Pokemon right here. Interesting, interesting items and interesting Pokemon. And I'm going to keep on pressing that repel because I don't necessarily want to get attacked by Pokemon right here. And, well, just don't get lost. Now, Black Shadow right here usually means Pokemon. Uh, sometimes you'll find items. And look at that. You found yourself a Lunatone. Lunatone is a very strong Pokemon right here, so... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to escape this. Like, I'm gonna have to capture these Pokemon later on, guys. Don't necessarily want to capture them right now. And, let's see. This will lead to this right here. Sometimes you'll find a rare Pokemon. Like, look at that. Soul Rock. Now, uh, dang it. It probably have been... Oh, damn. Probably would have been my chance to capture both these Pokemon right here. Eh. Whatever. I'll be back. Trust me, guys, off screen, I'm going to be doing a lot of capturing. And look at this. We found ourselves a hard stone. Definitely not the only uh, only hard stone you'll, ev you'll ever get in this game. Trust me, guys. So let's see. What else can we find here? All right. And, okay, so we're going right here, going downstairs. And yes, I'm going to have to use another repel. And we're going to find another Pokemon right here. And whoa, Soul Rock. Okay. Alright. Still going to defeat you right here. 
Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Don't want to capture any Pokemon right now. So let's see. Hmm. Nothing. Actually, hold. Wow. I'm getting all confused here. So let's see. Uh, if I go right here, I'm assuming that you'll find. Yes, you'll find a Pokemon right here. Plenty of Pokemon. Lots and lots of Pokemon. And look at that. You'll find a Cubone. Look at that. Cubone. Cubone bone. And. Well, I'm going to escape. Again, I'm going to capture all these Pokemon later on. These are, yeah, certainly Pokemon that you can't run away from. And look at that. TM65, Shadow Claw. A much needed move. And, well, now I'm just going to have to move on a little further. And, well, here we are at the very end. So let's go ahead and take a look what's going on here. Now, if you move forward a little bit more, you're going to see your very first Team Flare member right here. Look at this guy. What's this? Well, well. What do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come pick poking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremor in fear. Team Flare. Team Flare's goal is to make the make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to the other trainers in Pokemon. Get out here! Get out of here, kid! Don't you know that? Don't you know not to play uh, with fire? Uh, no. Getting uh, getting my fancy suit dirty isn't stylish. Wait, or so isn't stylish ways to do things. But if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him, Houndour. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Our very first battle against a Team Flare Grunt. And he'll be coming out with a a Houndour right here. Okay. I see what you're doing, and I don't like it. So I'm going to defeat you pretty quickly right here. So let's go right ahead and not use any of our moves because, yeah, still psychic type Pokemon. And let's go with Kakashi Hatake. Yeah, buddy. Let's finish this guy off with a little bit of Kakashi. And here comes that smog attack and crud. Alrighty, so we're coughing up along. Let's go, Water Pulse. Let's finish this guy. I'm looking at. Say goodbye to Houndour. Oh yes, I'm feeling good, feeling great. And Gaia number three gets what 21 point or gets the level 21. And here he comes out with a Zubat. So let's go with the Leah and destroy this guy. Oh yeah, it's been a while since a uh, Team Flare man. Look at that, look at that, Pikachu's all mean and everything. Okay, so let's go Electro Ball. Kamehameha, Pikachu style. Oh yes. No more Zubat. I feel good. I feel great. Aaliyah kicks ass. And so, go <laughs> so goes the Team Flare guy. You may have beat me, but when I lose, I go ahead in style. You know, they are very, very big in style, guys. I, I hope you guys know that. Okay, so what's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But watch yourself. I'm not the only Fla Team Flare member. Alrighty. Nobody cares. Okay. So let's go ahead and crack these... Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. So let's go ahead and teach Rock Smash, uh, Rock Smash to our good old buddy Pancham right here. There we go. Pancham. Learning Rock Smash. Yes, I should teach it. What move should it learn? Uh, let's take away a leer. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's go back at this again and break this boulder. And look at that. Breaking that, we found ourselves a revive. Now, sometimes you'll be able to find another hardstone around here, guys. And yes, I'm going to use a repel because I don't want to get attacked by Pokemon. And here we go, Rock Smash. And we're getting attacked by a Pokemon. Okay. And here we have a Dweeble, or Dweeble. Dweeble, Dweeble, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Pretty sure many of you guys are gonna be like, it's Dweeble, or Dweeble. Don't know, don't care. And we're running away right here. So let's see, let's see, uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We gotta give Bonesaw a little bit of loving since we just got the Pokemon. 
And bam, there's another Pokemon trainer there. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take everyone else down so we can uh, so we can do what we want. Alrighty, Team Flare. Looking all stylish and everything. Here we go with the female grunt. And look at that. Coming out with a gulpin. Okay. Let's go, Bonesaw. Dual job. Very strong Pokemon. Like, oh god. Okay, so yeah, Gulpin's not not much of a Pokemon to take down. Oh crud, oh crud. Crap baskets. God dang it, I was supposed to go with a Dragon Rage. That was critical. And damn. And Sludge Bomb, here it is. Crap. And Bone Saw has been put to sleep right here. Hey, right, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and go straight to Gaia 3. There we go. Now, I did mention in the last episode, Antsy was a pretty good Pokemon to actually get in black and white. Black and white too. It's a very, very physical Pokemon, and that's partially the reason why I got it right here, because, you know, it, it, it gets very, very physical afterwards. Like, it's stats are through the roof physically. I just, uh, you know, have a tendency to teach it some special moves afterwards just because it's a dragon, but it's okay. And here he comes out with an Electric. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Godzilla 3. Come on, buddy. Godzilla 3. Alrighty, I'm having fun here, guys. I'm really, really having fun. Destroying everybody with, uh, well, my Pokemon X Pokemon. Look at that. Ember attack nearly does it, and god dang it! Really get annoyed when I get like all these status effects and stuff. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we go again, another Ember. Uh, this Pokemon is using its health. Come on, come on! God dang it! All right. Okay, so it's using Roar ag or Howl again, but it won't get a chance to attack me because I am better. I am stronger. I am Godzilla 3. And, of course, Bancham mooching off our leveling. And, well, that is, uh, that is a nice victory for us right there. And, well, we gotta heal our Pokemon. Alright. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use a paral Paralysis Heal. There we go. Pure Paralysis. And let's go with an Awakening right here. And Bonesaw has been healed in, well, I probably should be putting another uh, uh, Super Potion right here for Bonesaw. Okay, so everybody's healed except for Gaia the Third. And, uh, well, there's nothing right here. So I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to break it. See if I can find something useful. Let's go Pancham. Pancham does its thing and nothing happens. Okay, and here's another rock. Let's go again. Pancham, break this thing. There we go, broken, and nothing else. Okay, and here we have two Team Flare members. We're Team Flare. We put the fashion to fear. We're looking for fossils, but discovered a kid, Draven. Oh, here's the honey. There are two members of Team Flare? Well then, are you ready to team up and battle them? No, not yet. Hold on. Okay, you'll be waiting. All right, let me switch out of the Pokemon right here. Hold on just a sec. Okay, Bonesaw's not going to really do anything good right here. So I'm going to switch it up to Kakashi Hidaka and let's go right ahead. All right, baby. Let's beat these guys. If you just want to make people uh, people in Team Flare happy, why don't you just do that? But if you're going around threatening other people, we won't let you get away with it. Strong words from my honey bunny. That's right. Get yourself a strong woman like Serena, guys. All right, so here's Team Flare battling us with Pro Gunk, and look at that, Shadar. I haven't seen you in well a week. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Water Pulse. Let's go with the main uh, threat right here, Scraggy. Oh yeah, and here comes a Light Screen. Look at that, she's protecting us. And here comes a Faint Attack. Not too effective and bam oh damn Esper is just uh, getting its butt kicked right now so let's go ahead and defend her with a scraggy or a water pulse attack right here and look at that no more scraggy 
Oh yeah, good butt taking names in. Here comes the Cybeam attack. And there goes Krogonk. You see? Best team ever. Look at that. Bonesaw grows level 16. Learning a uh, scary face. Don't want to do that. Okay. Alrighty. And there goes Team Flares. <laughs> Man, you guys suck. Look at that. Get yourself a girl like Serena, guys. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, man, my favorite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy. If we, re if we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Yeah, you could, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And, well, I'm just going to keep on moving on right here, guys. There is something that we need to do. And, God damn it, we're getting attacked by Pokemon. And would you look at that? We found ourselves a Pharaoh, seed, a Pharaoh seed. And, well, I'm going to escape you. You can find these guys anytime. Trust me, guys. They're not that hard to find. And, well, another repel needs is needed. And look at that. Ooh, Pokeball. And we found ourselves an escape rope. Yeah, ready. So let's go ahead right here and talk to this guy right here. And here comes our girlfriend. Did you find him? Exclamation mark. Why, hello. Here here to look at uh, for fossils as well. Are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What? What? What is a a Pokémon? Don't worry about it. It looks like he's going to he's completely absorbed in looking for fossils. You two are very lucky. I just found two new fossils. But they're uh, but they're both ones I already have, so I'll give one to each of you. Which one do you want? A jaw fossil or a sail fossil? Now, I really like the sail fossil because eventually you'll have like a Brachio whatever, what you might call it, Brachio something Pokemon for the sail fossil. But I'm going to get the jaw fossil right here so I can get Tyrantum. It's a pretty cool. And uh, yes, I want that fossil. Thank you. Thank you very much. And don't worry guys, in Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Y, the copy that I have, I already got the sale fossil, so I will be trading and turning and everything, and that way I can fill up my Pokedex right here. I'll restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the po uh, Fossil Lab. Hope to see you there! Alrighty. So that's pretty much it, and well, let's talk to our girlfriend here. Well, we went looking for, this assist uh, for the assistant, and we found a suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare people running around. In that case, I guess it's the best thing to do would be challenging the Silas City Gym. Okay, it is true. The next town is Silas Gym. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that escape rope right here. We have three of those little bastards. And look at that. We're escaping. Okay, so let's move on right here, guys. Going back to the lab. And, well, we already covered everything right here, so it's pretty good. I mean, we covered everything. Normally, I would actually just, like, break everything into pieces, but, you know, we got to get this whole thing done now. Now that we got more time to actually record Pokemon X since we've already completed Black, I think we're going to do a better job here. Again, we're still in the Redemption Tour. I've completed Black. I've eliminated uh, everybody in... Uh, in Sinnoh with Pokemon Platinum, I've destroyed everybody in the Emerald. Hell, oh, I've dominated freaking uh, Johto and, K and Kanto at the same time. And, well, you know, we had some really good beginnings in the Yellow version, with the exception of that first loss. No thanks to freaking Gary. And, well, my biggest issue right here. Or what, like, what made, what makes this one right here, this game, a Redemption Tour, is the fact that when I, when I was driving XC711, I played it in Japanese, and then as soon as I got an English capture card, I finished up the whole game, not even narrating the whole thing, and then started in Pokemon Y. So, yeah, I kind of want to fix that up for all you guys. And well, let's see. Before we leave, let's go right ahead and deposit a Pokemon right here. Deposit. Let's go deposit a Pancham right there. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pause it. And let's get the F out of here. And let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, I am a researching Pokemon fossils here. You have a fossil, don't you? Shall I restore it for you? Heck yes. Okay then. I'll turn that jaw fossil back into a Pokemon for you. 
ready. Okay, all right. And, well, I restored the fossil you gave me, turning it back into a Pokemon. This is Tyrut. Please take good care of it. Look at that. We got ourselves a Tyrant. Pretty good Pokemon right here. And, uh, Tyrant. Do you want to give Tyrant a nickname? Yes, I do. And this is coming from, like, the days when I was in elementary school. The land before times. You know, you got long neck, three horn, duck bill. I'm going to nickname uh, Tyrant Sharp Tooth. Because that's what they called, uh, that's what they call Tyrannosaurus Rex. Sharp Tooth. Sharp Tooth. Look at that. All right, so there it is. Sharp Tooth is with us. No, it's not going to be on our team, but let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right now. Let's see, Sharp Tooth, level 20, and look at that. You got Tyrant, the rock and drug, uh, dragon type Pokemon. It has Bide, Stealth Rock, Bite, and Charm. And it has a Strong Jog ability, which is the Pokemon Strong Jog gives it tremendous biting power. Now, it can evolve into a Tyranitrum, I think that's what it was called. But it has to be daytime, so that right there is a, a mission and a half for you guys right there if you guys want to, uh, you know, get it quickly. You have to evolve it in the morning, so, yeah. Alright, so we're putting it back into the PC. We are done with this episode, guys. In the next one, we're going to be going to Silage Town, and, or Silage City, or whatever you call it. And, yeah, hopefully, maybe, battle another gym leader, because it's been a while, guys. It's been a nice minute or two, so... Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.